Okay, the customer which I liked a lot on my device is now back. The version is 5.9 and we are talking about Pixel Extended based on Android 13 and it is having the July security patch. I guess the previous version which was based on 5.8 which was having Android 13 but that was having the May security patch and the June security patch was not there. But with this new update, of course the QPR3 update, so we have the new back gesture as expectedly. I found that in CRR this back gesture was not available. I don't know why but a lot of customers are already bringing you and pixel extended is one of them this back gesture first time when i saw this it was not looking that good i mean i didn't like that much but after using it for some time i found this is not even that bad enhanced pin privacy option is also included with this july security patch in this pixel extended version 5.9 which will simply disable the animations whenever you enter the pin in your lock screen if you use a pin lock on your device like in my case i always choose to do in this case in this new update the major change is the quick settings panel the quick settings panel in the previous updates was light mode i mean if you use a light mode you have the light quick settings panel if you use a dark mode you have the dark quick settings panel but in this case with the version 5.9 which is having the july security patch the quick settings panel is now actually in dark mode doesn't matter if you use a light mode or dark mode this is a stock which you, which you have in pixel experience or all the pixel based devices you have this kind of ui in quick settings panel so as this one is pixel extended so you have same kind of ui there one of my favorite feature is now also included with this new update which is hide ime button space to be very honest, only for this thing, I rooted my Pixel Extended previous version to just install the small keyboard neighbor module. But in this version, if this feature is included, that is just super amazing. One thing, which is the quick settings panel, which is not bad. Secondly, this hide IME space button, which is absolutely brilliant. So kind of great, kind of a great update for this custom room because a lot of users were looking for the battery stats as this is not a device specific review but still if you still need to take a look this is my battery usage but one thing let me tell you that i was using i was constantly using 5g here that is why this kind of drain is here because of course if you're using 5g with the full brightness this kind of battery drain is expected and you can see that you can adjust the battery uses battery usage chart to pixel style or the aosp style i personally choose aosp style so i use that that. including that the pixel launcher extended which was available previously too if i move on here let me show you one thing which is a developer options in the previous update i think so it was not there and one feature which i always use is enable forced mono icon what this is for example some apps icons are not themed by default if you enable this option then that icon will also look themed for example the youtube studio icon is not themed by default if you use the pixel themed icons but and after enabling that option that is working fine too quick setting styles having some of the customizations for you for example if you want to customize the rows or columns you can do that and uh, this is one of the things which i actually loved about pixel extended because you need this thing but with this dark quick settings panel i don't think so this is quite useful for me at least if I move on to the system options, other options are basically same. Like we have the fonts customizations, we have the icon pack customizations, lock screen clock styles, and not, not only the lock screen clock styles, although only font styles actually. The miscellaneous settings includes a vibrate to indicate the call status and that ignore window secure flags kind of things. One more thing is if we move on to the app log options, of course, app log is included here. In app log, we have the option to hide those certain apps, but for that, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I move on to protected apps option, here you can see you can't lock the system apps i guess yes you can't lock the system apps if i open this if i want to hide any app from the launcher i have to enable the protection for that and this is quite disappointing but that's completely fine basic call recorder this might be device specific i don't know but it is included in my case and this is so useful because google dollar is having that announcement annoying announcement if you use the call recording options but if you use this basic call recorder you'll love that no announcement and call recording automatic everywhere so these were things i just wanted to know this is pixel extended version 5.9 if you want to install this thing on your device the link for the official website official download links are available in the description make sure to check out that and i will see you in the next one make sure to like this video thanks for watching and goodbye